Peace, y'all. What's going on? Uh, William Smith here. Uh, I wanted to just uh, want to just pass a quick lesson on y'all. Um, I had my, in my last meeting, a lady was uh, we went over, we went we went at it for like an hour almost on whether she should get a whole life policy or put money into her TSP. And she just really, really wanted to put a lot of money into her life insurance. And I had to talk her down. Like, I just, you know, life insurance is great. Everybody needs it. But if you're anything like somebody that you get to the end of retirement and you got less than $20,000 in your retirement and you don't got much there, like you got less than $20,000 in your TSP and you're trying to get a big whole life policy, so that's going to cost you a lot of money. Like, you know, for example, in her situation... Um, she didn't have much in her TSP, um, and she didn't have much life insurance. And so what she wanted to do was she wanted to put um, $200 into, $287 into a life insurance policy. And, and because she was older and she wanted to leave her kids a lot of money, she wanted to put $287 in there. But um, that $287, she only has so much income, right? So much money she could save. But that $287, I was telling her, lie, we got to put the majority of, majority of that into your TSP because if you don't have money in your TSP, retirement is going to be very, very hard for you. Um, and then another thing, um, you know, when you retire from the government and people that retire can attest to this, there's a gap when, you know, when you really get your first check. You know, I was talking to a lady yesterday. She retired in January. It's now April and she still hasn't got her full retirement check yet. She's been getting these partial checks. And so I was like, I was telling this lady, I'm like, look, you know, we do do life insurance. And the more money you do, you pay in life insurance, the more money we're going to make. But like we spent almost, I'm exaggerating probably on an hour, but it was, it was really like at least 45 minutes of us going back and forth with her telling me she wanted to do the 287 a month. And I'm like, nah, we just not going to do that. Like I'm even willing to walk away from doing this with you if you don't agree to cut the life insurance costs way down so that we can load up your TSP. Because when you're in retirement, the thing that's going to matter most to you is one, having peace of mind because you know you got a, a nest egg sitting there because between your furs and your and your uh and your social security i mean you can live off of it if you budget it right but if you didn't you're going to need your tsp so like i'm super adamant about people one loading up their tsp and two reducing their life insurance costs in those cases because you got to have the tsp like i know you love your kids i know all that stuff but if you waited late you waited late at this point, you got to take care of yourself because here's what's going to happen. And this is what I told her. Look, even if you even if I let you buy this two hundred eighty seven dollars a month in life insurance, which I don't recommend, if you did it anyway, guess what's going to happen? Once you retire, because you don't have a lot in your TSP, you're going to let the policy lapse anyway. And so then you end up with no retirement and no life insurance. So we went back and forth for like forty five minutes. Um, I asked her and I, this is what I always ask. Cons. I'm like, look, just let's start with a budget on what you can afford to spend. For something extra after you're putting a lot of money towards your TSP. And so we came up with that number earlier in the conversation and we just stuck to, I stuck to my guns. I was really will, willing to walk away from the whole situation because I'm just that passionate because I know, you know, five, 10 years down the line when she's retired, she's not going to be able to pay it anyway. So she's going to end up with nothing. So that's why I tell people like put money in your TSP because you're going to need it if you're a federal government employee. If you're not a federal government employee, you're, you're private, put money in your 401k. Because when that rainy day comes, you're going to need that money. Um, you know, medical expenses, all type of stuff can come up. And if you don't got that type of money sitting aside, you're going to be in a real, real jam. So that's the lesson of the day. Like, look, um, you definitely want to have your TSP put it. You definitely want to fund your TSP. Life insurance is cool. I recommend it, but not at the expense of your TSP. Not at the expense of your TSP. It's just too important. And that's why you want to watch out for dealing with people that are just life insurance people. Because they're going to try to sell you on whole life and it's a supplement for retirement. It's BS. Not if you're a federal government employee. If you're a federal government employee, your TSP is your best bet. Because one, you get to take advantage of compound interest of the of the money that's growing there. Two, the fees are really low. Um, the, the TSP charges, I think, 0.25% to manage your money. That's That's low. Very, very low. And then compared to industry standards. And then number three, the money goes straight to you. And so even if you even if you have uh, kids that you want to leave money to, just earmark a portion of your TSP for life insurance, right? And, that, and that's for people that just are late planning. I mean, I'm just being honest. You can't have both if you're late planning. If you're late planning, you definitely want to load up your TSP um, so that you have money um, for when you're retired. You know what I mean? So 
Uh, that's just the two cent for the day. Uh, Marcy, you said, hey, Marcy, how you doing? Uh, yeah, just inbox me, Marcy. You'll leave a comment. Um, and we'll set something up. We'll set something up before the week is out. We can just have a conversation. Um, but, yeah, don't let, like, just life insurance people tell you, like, buy a whole life and all that at the expense of your retirement. It's bad advice. I've been doing this 10 years. The only reason why they're saying that is because it loads their pockets up. Um, but then five, 10 years from now, when you're, when you're, when you're in retirement and you're like, hold on, how do I pay for this life insurance? You're going to cut that cost. And then you're left with no real retirement either. So yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Like stick with a budget when it comes to life insurance. And then the rest of that stuff you put into your TSP and it might not be as much as you would like, but it's better to have, it's better to have something than nothing. Because if you, again, if you, if you, if you sacrifice your TSP for life insurance, Sorry about that. If you sacrifice your TSP for life insurance, you won't have either. So uh, peace and blessings, y'all. Inbox me if you have some questions. If you want to book a session with us, do that as well. Um, I'll post a link in the comments. Um, if y'all got any questions while I'm here, I'm willing to answer it. Um, other than that, y'all just uh, enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.